Okay, this is Jeff's Geometro.com. Uh, what we're doing is I'm uh, going to show you how to do the proper uh, compression check on the engine. The uh, what I've done is I've already removed the bolts for the air cleaner, so I can remove it quickly and easily, so we can uh, go through this a little faster than normal. This car already has the uh, Geometro fart fix where the PVC valve's been removed. If you're not familiar with that, you look through and you'll find one of those videos for that. Something every Metro should have done to it. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, remove the air cleaner housing on your car. Leave the air, cold air intake hooked up. And then Chris, go ahead and start it up. And then you're going to want to start up and warm your car up. This car's already been warmed up, so we're just simply going to show you. We're going to unplug the injector harness, run the motor out of fuel, and we're going to leave it unplugged. Chris, can you go ahead and pull these plugs out? And I already broke the plugs loose before we started because I wanted to speed the whole process up with the actual video. So don't think that you can just spin your spark plugs in and out. They should be torqued. And this engine also is not missing the timing cover. This has our custom cut timing cover marks down on the bottom where the cover's been reshaped or cut down. So now you can do an inspection on the belt at the tensioner and pulley. Every time you check the oil, I recommend you do that to every car out there. So, what we've done is we've starved the engine of fuel. And the reason for this, and we've left the injector unplugged. And the reason for this is when we crank it over, it would spray fuel in and it washes the fuel down the runners. And before you get your compression check done, the compression can be off by as much as 50 pounds because the fuel vapor washing the uh, oil off the rings. So we're going to go ahead and run through this compression check right now and then we'll plug the injector in and do it the, oil, the way most people do it and I'll show you the difference. Chris, okay, perfect. Now that's a brand new engine. This has got probably 250 miles on it. It's got 180 pounds on it. Or excuse me, it's got... How many miles this motor got on it, Chris? I'm not sure, but it's almost fully broken in at 180 miles, or 180 pounds. And we'll do the next one. And if we're lucky, they all read the same code. And this one's like right at 175. Now, that one's at 180, so this motor is back to brand new. This is a re-ringed motor, or what we call our rebuilt engine that we sell, and then it has an MPG head on it, so that gives us the picture from the 150 pounds that you'd have from re just rebuilding a motor without boring it, and that gives us our extra 30 pounds of compression. And, uh, that's how we make the MPG uh, head work so good on a, a rebuilt motor. And then when it's on a brand new motor, it's uh, you don't have to plug in it. When it's on a brand new motor, the, uh, it's even higher compression, so it's uh, it even works better, a lot better. That's why we get the most gas miles in the industry. Okay, now what we're going to do is plug the injector back in. Why don't you go ahead and crank it over? Okay. And just crank it till I tell you to stop. That's good right there. Alright, so that probably puts about as much fuel in it as if you just shut them down and you're normally going to do it. So, we'll run through and 
run a compression check and I expect it to fade off from good compression on this one to the last one not having that great of compression. You go ahead and crank it. Stop please. And as you can see on it, we only got 145 pounds of compression. Now don't ever, ever put fuel oil in the cylinders. Just that is a no-no. That doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't do, it, that's a trick that car lots came up with years ago. If I had this thing and I dumped in some oil in the cylinders, it would show me a compression rating. It has nothing to do with anything. Hold on one second. Okay, let's try that one more time. Go ahead and crank it over. And you can see that's plenty good. And you can see we're up to 150 pounds. And we'll do the last one and it'll be 150 pounds or less. Go ahead and crank it over. Perfect. And it's right around 150 pounds. And the longer you do it, the more it's washed out. If we go back and do the number one cylinder again, it'll probably be down to 135, 125 pounds. And uh, the, uh, that is uh, the reason that you don't do a compression check with the injector harness plugged in. And, uh, the, uh, and that'll give you real numbers on your engine. A lot of you guys are doing compression check and just simply not getting the right numbers. And some of you are going through the motors and can't figure out why you can't get the compression to come up. And really, it's just you already had the compression before you redid the motor. I hope that helps out. And uh, remember, don't dump any oil in the cylinders ever to check it. And when you check it, it's always dry. It's always with the injector unplugged. And thanks for checking out our website.